Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular session, I am going to explain you about Kola's law. Now, what exactly it is? It is a part of electrochemistry. First, I will write the statement of this and then I will explain it. So, here we go. Kohlrausch law. It says that at infinite dilution, each ion migrates independent of the co-ion and contributes to the total conductivity and I'm being specific molar conductivity of the electrolyte irrespective of the nature of the ion with which it is associated all right this is what is the statement of call Routh's law now what does it mean is we talk about an electrolyte and when we talk about electrolyte is a substance which is allowing the flow of ions a current so obviously an electrolyte is made up of ions cation as well as an ion so what this law says is every ion has an ability to migrate okay move, that is moving from one point to another and this migration will not depend on the other ion with which it is associated because when I talk about a positive ion so positive ion will be associated with a negative ion and vice versa so the migration of that particular ion is not dependent on the nature of the other ion all right so it is independent I can say but my dear friends the condition is what it is at infinite dilution dilution is addition of water if I consider water as a solvent concentration is a removal of water so it means dilution and concentration are inversely proportional so when I say infinite dilution so I can also call this as zero concentration so at zero concentration this is what the condition is okay that the migration of the ion does not depend upon the nature of the ion with which it is associated and also every ion will contribute towards the total molar conductivity so if I'm going to consider like this this is the total molar conductivity of the electrolyte then the expression which I get mathematical expression which I get on the basis of this law is n plus lambda 0 plus plus n minus lambda 0 minus okay where lambda 0 plus and lambda 0 minus are the ionic conductivities or I can also call it as molar conductivity of the cation as well as the anion respectively n plus and n minus are the number of moles of the cation and the anion respectively okay so these are the ionic conductivities that is per cation as well as the anion respectively and this n plus and n minus stands for the number of moles so in this way you can see that the cation as well as the anion both of them contribute towards the total molar conductivity of the electrolyte so the most important application of this particular law and that is it is possible to find out the 
molar conductivity. I give you an example also so that it becomes very easy. Let us consider two examples. First, let us consider example of KCl. Okay, so KCl is an electrolyte. It dissociates to give you K plus and Cl minus. So I will write it down as the molar conductivity at zero concentration of KCl will be equal to this is 1 K plus and 1 Cl minus. So N plus value is 1 and minus value is 1. So I have lambda 0 of K plus plus lambda 0 of Cl minus. Or you can write down 0 over here also at the top, no issues. We can write down like this as well. Okay, so this becomes the expression. Suppose if I'm going to consider barium hydroxide BaOH twice so this dissociates as what Ba2 plus and 2OH minus so I'll be writing down is molar conductivity of barium hydroxide can be given as this is only one so lambda zero that is Ba2 plus plus two into lambda zero of OH minus okay because here 2 is the number of anion which is present okay 1 is the number of cation okay so knowing these values of ionic conductivities we can find out the value of the molar conductivity of the electrolyte okay so this becomes the application of Collard's law okay so just a wrap of things now in this particular session we are discussing about in simple words what is Collard's law and it says that at infinite dilution or zero concentration the migration of the ion is independent that means it does not depend upon the nature of the co-ion that is the ion with which it is associated and also one more important thing is that it contributes to the total molar conductivity of the electrolyte and on the basis of this i give you this mathematical expression this is what is the mathematical expression for this uh, particular law and then i given you some application also with respect to two electrolytes that is kcl as well as barium hydroxide so i hope you have understood this very well